by their side of the well, I'm Phil Ames, David Washer. I'm a sophomore in Styles, and I'm from Borgen, Texas. It's a small town in the Texas Panhandle. Um, and right now, I'm a double major, Religious Studies and International Studies. And what faith tradition are you? I'm a Christian. It's not about following rules and, and regulations. It's, again, about knowing um, a loving God and then sharing that love with others. And it's about, for me, it's been surrendering my life and saying, I can't do this on my own. I can't, I can't be perfect. I can't keep up with rules and regulations all the time with all my words and thoughts and actions. I just, I can't do it. And so I need you, Christ. I need you to um, stand before me and extend forgiveness to me. What are some challenges you find? A lot of times I want to be selfish with my time mm -hmm. and I want to spend it on doing, completing my work and, and that's a struggle for me here to, um, despite a busy schedule, make time to just be with someone. I think that although um, Yaleys have a lot of things going for them, I know, I know of some people that are lonely and that are hurting and it, it's very easy to get caught up in what I'm doing and forget about those people and I, I don't want that. I want to be um, a friend to the friendless and to reach out to those who are hurting. Hearing people say in, in conversations off to the side or maybe in a seminar with a professor, um, people will make comments about Christianity and that can be kind of hard uh, to deal with. What are some particular joys you feel about being a Christian at Yale? Back from coming to Yale, I've never experienced such um, strong and devoted friendships. Coming here and, and knowing that we're all insanely busy, but yet still encountering um, other people who want to take time out of their day, um, maybe at one in the morning, to just stop by and, and see who I'm, how I'm doing, um, and, and give me a space where I can pour out my life and say, you know, maybe I'm not doing well. It, it may seem that I've got all my classes and work done and, and everything's fine, but I, I'm actually not doing well. And, and here are some things that I'm struggling with. And then um, praying with that person, coming before God uh, together as friends, um, and having their support both um, emotionally and, and physically there, but also spiritually, knowing that they are caring for me um, while they're with me, um, praying with me right then, but then they're also praying and thinking about me as they're going throughout their day. Okay, well, I'm a junior here at Yale. Um, I'm originally from Nigeria. I grew up there, born and raised Roman Catholic. The Catholic Church is not kind of this oppressive body. It's not this great big place where the Pope says, you do this and you do that, and you can't do this and you can't do that. That's really not what the Catholic Church is about. What I have been challenged though is I've been challenged by kind of the culture, the college culture that especially exists here in the States that I'm not used to because of, I'm from Nigeria. Um, and there are a lot of things that kind of don't really mesh with my beliefs. I guess one of the main things is kind of the cook-up culture. Mm -hmm. That's definitely something that isn't, it's, also, it's one, of, one of the things that's not it's not culturally kind of acceptable in Nigeria and also just because, and also um, as a Catholic, that doesn't kind of fly with me and my, with my beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge mainly to remind myself why I do it and that I'm not just, you know, a killjoy. The drinking culture as well is something that I don't really mesh with um, just because it seems a little it seems less, it seems more like a kind of reaction to being to college and not like a conscious choice. The Jesuit um, theology kind of encourages people to reflect on the reasons why they do things and to reflect about their day and their decisions. And I'm very, I'm very and I've kind of taken that into me and I like to think about why I do things mm -hmm. and I couldn't find a good reason to kind of go, kind of go along with that idea. So it's challenging in that regard, just trying to um, challenge misconceptions about your own faith and to grow in kind of an academic environment and still be a person of faith and not get jaded after analyzing it so much and talking about it academically. The whole idea, the idea of trying not to make my faith too scholastic and too academic and 
kind of not to bring myself out of it too much to analyze it, mm -hmm. but to still be very engaged with it while, you know, thinking critically about it. Um, my name is Liz Dunn, and I am a junior in Tremble College. I'm a sociology major, and I come from a town called Eldora, Iowa. Okay. And what faith tradition <laughs> are you? Um, I am a Methodist. I grew up in my local Methodist church, always going to Sunday school and everything. I guess it's always been a really personal faith to me from a pretty young age. Yale's interesting because it is a secular community, um, but I think that it's definitely possible to be a religious person at Yale. And I've learned a lot about my own faith through meeting other people and talking to them. Um, and maintaining my own religious life in a place that's not as um, conducive mm -hmm. to that. Everybody else, mostly people's priority tends to be their schoolwork and academics and sometimes a lot of their ex other extracurriculars and I would never want to make church and religious life just another chore. Mm -hmm. um, so making time for it can be difficult, making time for it and making it meaningful. It's, it's really funny that people have this weird conception of Christians now, mm -hmm. that they're like homophobic, Darwin-hating bigots or something as a whole group. As if it's yeah. monolithic. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot more variety out there. Mm -hmm. um, that I mean, people should know, but I think it, they, there's just this weird popular conception that secularism is normal, people of faith all believe this one thing. Um, I, I mean, I have had the impulse before to just not mention it, not mention that I'm a Christian, not mention that I go to church and that type of thing, but I um, try not to do that because I think it fosters a lot of thought and conversation when you do admit it.